Hello everyone, my name is Urvi. I create regular videos on immigration in Canada, tier to PR pathway updates and life in Canada. So in this video today, we are going to talk about BIL or BIL and try to understand what exactly it is, right? So let's get into it. So BIL stands for Biometrics Instruction Letter. Okay, and this letter is essential for you to go and get your biometrics done through uh, official collection point okay essentially i'll show you the sample of bill later on in this video so biometrics instruction letter it is provided by the applicant as a proof that the applicant has already submitted a complete application to immigration like ircc and paid the biometric fees Okay, so when you go to a biometric center or a collection point to get your biometrics done, you have to bring this letter with you. If you don't take this letter, they will not do your biometrics, right? So this is very important letter. You are required to pay the biometrics fees when you submit your application. Okay, if you haven't gone through the biometrics in the last 10 years, you have to get your biometrics done and you have to pay those fees at the time of application and once you pay your fees then in the process you will get when the process begins you will get instruction letter um, this letter will allow you to go uh, and give your biometrics at the official collection point okay and after ircc sends you the bill or biometrics instruction letter you have up to 30 days to submit your biometrics or upload your biometrics right so that is what bill is um, and now let's look at a sample okay guys so as you can see on my screen this is a sample biometric instruction letter and it has a date on it it has your uci number your application number okay it has from where it was generated or to whom it was generated um, and then details like right so the letter refers to your application to ircc for one of the following documents to remain in canada it is temporary resident work permit permit study permit temporary resident visa temporary resident permit work permit study permit temporary resident visa visa record permanent resident application or permanent resident card renewal so these are different application types for which you need a biometrics done Further, this letter states that uh, as per the regulation, you are required to get your fingers, fingerprint scanned and your photograph taken uh, at a biometric collection service point to help visa officer determine if you may enter or stay in Canada. Most applicants will need to give their biometrics at a uh, biometric collection service point abroad before they travel to Canada. So before if you're outside of Canada, you have to look up for your nearest collection point and go there and get your biometrics once you receive this letter. Further, it says that if you receive this letter, you must give your biometrics before coming to Canada and are not eligible to have your fingerprints and photograph taken at a Canadian port of entry. And then further, it says that what you need, uh, what exactly you need to do next, you need to take this letter with you and go in person to a biometric collection service point to have your fingerprints and bio photograph taken. If you're outside of Canada or US, you may go to any visa applications or center most convenient to you which is most convenient to you so closest to you if you're already legally in us you may go to a us citizenship and immigration services application support center or visa application center located in the united states or its territories okay so depending upon what is closer to you, you can take this letter and go there what you need to bring with you when you present yourself at the biometric collection service point, you must have a copy of this letter, passport or tra travel document. Okay, this letter is also proof that you have paid the biometrics fees or you have claimed an exemption from the biometric fee under the section so and so and so forth right so essentially you can see how important letter it is and lastly it says that you have 30 days from receiving this letter to present yourself at a biometric collection point and give your 
biometrics. You must visit the collection point to give your fingerprints um, and photograph taken and on and before then they provide the date. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. So you can go over the details. I'll link this. Uh, I'll put this link in the description below so that you can check it out yourself. But this is one of the samples of biometrics instruction letter. There may be few variations depending upon stream to stream and where are you located. If you're already in Canada, this letter will look different. Yeah, this um, biometrics letter may differ, right, slightly from uh, stream to stream but the main point is you receive this letter and you take this letter to your biometrics collection service point and provide your biometrics right that is a key point that IRCC introduced in the application process and if you don't do it within 30 days you are at a risk of refusal rejection or a super delay in your process okay guys so hope this video was helpful let me know if you have any follow-up questions i provide regular updates in immigration in canada and it would be awesome if you can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button and also leave me a like all right thank you so much until my next video please take care and stay safe